AFK climbing right there, and a meteor came out of nowhere. I was just on Reddit. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's coming out of nowhere. I heard fucking rounds come out of... Oh my... We got everybody on me already. Hey up! Everybody wants a Kung Fu fight. Yeah! Here comes a meteor. Noob shots. Come on, Horton. Come on, Horton. Come on, Horton. Bring her around. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get that speed up. Look at him. It doesn't want to get on my target. All right, he's down. All right. Like getting shot at when you're not even ready for the battle. <laughs> All right. Wait. Oh my gosh! They're coming out of fucking nowhere, guys. Where did that guy even come from? Like, what is this? All right. Let's get our fucking. Hang on. He wants to turn again. Oh my god. Sparks. We're okay here. Get that engine speed up. So we sparked four times off the F-80. My Gutenstein. I really don't know where these things are coming from. This, 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 is, this is really fucking weird. Alright, we, I see my... All right, boys, what's going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. I'm, uh, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but yeah, it's Sunday right now. Just recovered uh, from the live stream this Friday. I think I'm, I'm going to be doing something different for the live streams. I think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to get a six pack. All right. Now, what's been happening in the live streams, which makes me really frustrated inside, and I don't like it, is that after like six beers, I become like belligerent and like really like annoying and like, like I, I complain about everything even though it's my own fault I become drunk and Baba stop playing go away and when that happens it's, it's really annoying and it's it's not really um, that's like baby me like that's like cuz I'll you know I'm drunk I'm being honest you know I I don't hold things back that I normally would to present myself in a proper way and uh, I, I wake up the next day really kind of like frustrated like really you know is, is, is that how you're gonna like you know entertain people or you know make people's days by just complaining and being a cunt all stream and then so I I think that we're gonna fly days are still gonna be crazy but we're gonna limit it enough to the point where we won't get too over the top drunk now I can get drunk and be okay but like once I get kind of like because it's a long stream it's like 11 hour 12 hour stream sometimes is that um, we start to dab into hung, being hungover and then coming back to drunk because I'm still drinking in that long period of time. So we might make it a, only an eight hour stream or seven hour stream or we'll figure out something different to do. Uh, but I don't like the way I present myself uh, towards the end of the stream. It's very, it's very not, I mean, people pay money and people, you know, spend time to watch me and have fun. And I'm, then I just bitch all stream or at least in the later bit of stream. The beginning, like the first four hours of the stream are just fantastic. Everyone's just fucking having a great time. But anyways, guys, that's my little spiel for today. Uh, we're playing the Horton 229. We have the Stingray skin on. This skin can be downloaded in the uh, uh, description below. I have been practicing with this plane um, last week. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to use, but its guns are amazing. Uh, what else? Uh, don't turn above 520 kilometers. Full speed. Climb rate's beautiful. Turn time's fantastic. Acceleration's decent. Climb rate's pretty darn good. An overall good aircraft with a little bit of discipline will go a far way. Um, with this now this plane does get ranked kind of high sometimes you know against f2h's and etc but right now we have some pretty good br with the f7f okay let's see what we're gonna do here we got air brakes on okay he's dead air brakes off there's a p80 roger that no worries we'll just keep maintaining our speed he's already diving 
Uh, one of the planes that we have to be careful of is the F8Fs, man, because those things have the highest acceleration possible. Okay, good. He's not really going for me right now. We're going to turn into the right. There's a P80. Sorry, I just got a little distracted on that uh, P80 from the F8F earlier. All right, slow turnaround. Hold on, let's just check our dots. We got a P80, F8, or F8F. What else we got going on here? These planes can come out of the woodwork, out of nowhere. All right, turn it around. Just give it a nice little bit of 8Gs. Nothing more than that. There we go. Now, what you also have to worry about with the Horton is that after the turn, it takes a little bit of time for the Pipper to get on target because we, we don't have rudders. We have air brakes that act as rudders to yaw the aircraft. But it is difficult sometimes to get these guns on target in the last second. Okay. I don't know where the enemy team's at. <laughs> okay, we're going to follow this P-80. I don't know what he's doing right now. He's not dying, that's for sure. All right, air brakes on. He's going to be turning to the right hard. Or left hard, excuse me. Air brakes off. Air brakes on. Got some good hits on him. Pull off. He's pretty hurt right now. Where's that? There's the F8F. We'll go ahead and turn on him. Air brakes on. We will break right here. If we go full, we will break right here. Now we won't. Okay, one down. There's F8F below us. We're going to go die for him. We got a B-17 as well. Those AIs are giving me a lot of fucking headaches, aren't they? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, guys, you here? You here? Okay, putting in some rolls. We got to be careful with this, man. We're fast. Any kind of negative Gs we can rip pretty easily. Got him critical. Got him down. Retract the flaps. Good to go. Now we got a B-17 um, in front of us. I don't think we'll get the kill on him. Ooh, a 262 just missed a lot of shots. Oh wait, that's a, a U-4. Oh gosh, all right. Should we, should we try it, guys? Here we go, we're going in. Dun, 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 dun. We're probably gonna get, dude, guys, look, look how big our fuel tanks are. We're definitely getting on fire. Oh damn, boy, look at those beautiful shots. All right, he's down. So we're just, we have good ammo, we have good fuel. We're going to climb back up. Maybe we'll engage those uh, AI bow fighters. Now, usually when I go bombers, I go far uh, south and then turn into the east. But I don't see... Hmm. We just got to be careful in this climb. Uh, make sure that no one jumps on us. A lot of the... There we go. We got... There we go. Cool. A lot, of, a lot of the times when you get jumped in War Thunder is that you have an enemy near you that you see and then his friend comes from, you know, 8k down to 4k through the clouds because he can potentially see you if he's in good spotting distance. Alright, so we also have another F8F who's engaging our AI bow fighter, or uh, BF-110s. You see him firing right there, tracer rounds. We're just going to get some altitude because we, we pretty much are the only high tier uh, fighter in this game. We have some, we have a 262s, but I think they're U4s. So we are kind of like, you know, the the tip of the sword right now. Let's go level out. Wish that Spitfire went on that 262 and make my job a lot easier, but it looks like he's trying to engage me here. I don't know if I can outrun him. He could be a spit, whatever it's called. Goodness, mate. Okay, we need to get some level flight speed. There we go. We'll do this maneuver. We gotta do it. We can't turn around because they'll just outturn me. God, that Spitfire came from fucking insane, dude. The Spitfires are insane. Alright, uh, just pitch down now. We have to be able to outspeed this guy. There we go. We're gonna go to the center of the map and help out our um, 262s there. Good. I 
All right, but we're going after this F eight F. Looks like he's on the, the Fuck Wolf one ninety. Roger that. There we go. We'll pitch up right here. You got to turn for me, man. You can't come right at me. Don't come right at me. There we go. Slow pitch down. I'm going to help you, buddy. Give me a second. Turning left. Roger air brakes on for the left turn. Oh, he's sharp left turn. Fuck. That's not going to help me out at all. Yeah, fuck, man. You can't... Stalled in the air right now. Very weird. So let's actually test this. Let's see if the uh, the F eight F can outturn the um, port. He's getting around on my six now. We're gonna try for a little bit of a hammerhead here. Get us back on target a little bit easier. We're gonna go now for a horizontal turn. Well, less gravity on us. He just crashed. So that was really concerning right there. The F8F maybe had better acceleration or better thrust torque, whatever you want to call it, to propel himself higher than us, but as we got to that climax of that um, loop, we stalled. With elevators. It's like we have elevators, War Thunder. Like, a plane doesn't stall at 50 kilometers in the air with thrust and elevators and a center of gravity design on the aircraft. It might be a little bug there. Or maybe I just don't know a lot about wing design aircraft. But we got two kills that match. We should have got three right there. That was really... Okay. <laughs> we'll go hop in another one, guys. I just want to show you guys my score real quick. Yeah, pretty good. Nice. Alright, guys. So, welcome to the second gameplay. Uh, to recap last game, I think what just happened, um, which I think I am aware of it now, is that the prop is just able to put out more... Uh, I guess more direct output quicker than the jet, but I don't understand because I was at full RPMs in those maneuvers potentially. Um, but I feel like the F8F was able to pull out of that climax on the loop a lot better than I was. As you guys saw, if you guys rewind the video a little bit, you'll see that I'll just kind of hang there for a little bit in like a limbo while the gravity brings me back down to earth. But like I was at like 50 kilometers at some point. Like I feel like gravity's like, all right, you, you know what, Fly, you need to come back down here. You need to come back down here. Uh, but it looks like we're in a, a low BR game again, a, a, at least for us. Um, versus the Sea Fury, F8F, Spitfire. Jeez, 262 just fucking headed on that guy. No, that's that's the 262 just did a, a 50 mil shot on that Spitfire. Awesome. All right, F8F, a lot of things diving right now. You, oh my God, there's so many things diving. Spitfires, P51s, F8F to our right, Sea Fury to our right. He's being engaged right now. He he better turn off. Yep, there he goes. Hang on, let's see, what, let's, see what, let's see what we're gonna do right now. F8F, or F84, and we're gonna turn in. Nine G's right there, be careful on that pull. Okay, he's going down, we'll go down too. It's time to get nice and dirty. Don't need to put air brakes on, we just can't turn that sharp. There we go, keep that speed up. Look at that Spitfire. Wee. All right, we'll go. We'll get out of there. Pulling back around. Nine Gs. Be careful. All right. Now we're in a good situation right now. Let's see. Let's see who we should dive on. Destroy 
Spitfire is very crucial right now. Those things are deadly late game. Okay, got him critical. Oh, lo looks like he's still up and flying, though. Oh, he's going down for sure. Okay, good shot on him. We got a P-51 to our left. We're going to pull in for him. Oh, didn't I? I wanted to get on target right there, uh, but I think that, but but I think that pull right there would have ripped my wings because it would have been a very, very abrupt pull at last second. All right, so our, our team's cleaned up some. We, we cleared them out. Uh, this matchmaker really isn't. Ugh. I feel like Warthner needs to get it. Like the the matchmaker is either either a hit or miss every game. Oh, uh, well, except with the Mig Nine, because then you'll always be against the F2Hs, whatever. Uh, we have a P47M. Going after ground targets. Yeah, but like, that wasn't fair. I mean, <laughs> come on. Like, you guys, the devs, the whatever guys who run this game, you guys can do better than that. Uh, but speaking about that, the Horton will have some pretty high tier matchmaker. And I think that just goes to blame the uh, point or the 1.0 matchmaker. It really doesn't. It, it doesn't do just games. I mean, you'll either have a really good matchmaker game and you'll do good, and you have a really bad matchmaker game and you'll do bad. There's no like soft ground. There's no pudding. There's only like fucking hard bread, stale bread in this game. We, we need some fucking pudding, boys. That's what we need. All right, but so we're gonna be chasing this this uh, P47 right here. This is the P47M model. I don't want to go heads on with him because he has a lot of 50 cals. But he does. He but he wants to. Okay, he, I just set him up for disaster right there. I think he's dead right now by that FW190. Okay, yeah, fucking hey. Okay, to our right, it's a P80. Nice shit, FW190, head on in everything. I mean, hell, with those 30 mils, man, right in the nose. Gotta be confident as hell. Uh, but I hope the next gameplay will be able to showcase uh, what it's like to go up against F2Hs and uh, P80s. Ooh, we haven't. Uh, I think the last guy's a B29. I think he might be over our base. Do we do we have a blind uh, a blind hunt order? Yeah, here we go. This will spot him out for us. All right, where are you, brother? Way up there. <laughs> Look, we never would have found him. I don't think so. So yeah, that's another thing, guys. I don't know if you guys knew that. If, if you have an order, you can you know use that blind hunt, which is like one of the best things War Thunder has ever added to this game. And it will show uh, like a like a guy who you, who's no one spotted yet, so you're able to see them. Yeah, but he is running, ain't he? Ah, no, he's going towards the base. It looks like, but we wouldn't be able to see him at all right now. The the Heinkel right here, the Horton on the ground, no sir. So we, we've got a nice climb up for him though. All right, so we're getting kind of close to him. We're gonna pass through the clouds. He is still on radar. Um, I think for 20 more seconds. We're, we're gonna try to close him. Maybe it won't change though because he's the last guy left. Maybe we'll stay there for four minutes. Hopefully that's how it's gonna be Six five four three two one Good still him I don't know where he just went Yeah, it changed I don't see him anymore. Nope, there he is. Thank gosh, I, I, I have him on radar. Yeah, it looks like he, he's trying to, uh, I, don't, I don't know, what are you doing, but we're gonna climb past him, then go up. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Don't wanna get set on fire this, after all this climb, you don't wanna get set on fire. He's like, man, they definitely get, look at this dude, like, how could we have spotted this guy? No way. 
Also, these B-29s go like... Oh, he's... Uh, nope. These B-29s go like 550 kilometers up here, dude. Alright, hang on. We're gonna level out. My god, this thing does not like to perform at high altitude at all. Look, at, look how crafty this thing is right now. Getting a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Alright, leveling out. Oh, no, what's he doing? Is he turning towards me or away from me? Away from me, yep, to get the back gunners on target. Yep, roger that. We'll go ahead and turn to the right as well. My engines are overheating out here. We're at the same altitude now. Someone says he'll be suborbital if you don't kill them. Yeah, we know that. He is so high. I, I'm really, normally not deciding a battle at all. Look at that bomber, dude. Uh, is he gonna rip? He's gonna rip on purpose now. I feel like he's he's inverted. Oh, what the fuck? Hang on, boys. We're gonna climb right now. If you guys get, if you guys are in the return of the battlefield, just climb, and it will spawn you at that altitude. If that makes sense. I just see we're much higher than him right now, but now now I need to accelerate. Oh, Chase of the B-29. What a fun day. Come on, let's go, Horton. It's so slow up here. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close now, boys. That Horton's putting some nice range shots out. Oh, they're getting really close. No sauce. Here we go. No, I want to climb above him. I'm sorry. I need to get above him first. I don't, I don't feel confident. There we go, level out. <laughs> yes! Yes, we're gonna get him here! I'm coming in to help, Lemurunan. Yes! Look at that! That was so cool looking! Alright, so the B-29 just shot down the Horton, but uh, uh, Lem Lemuron were, was able to get some shots off at the very end. What a fucking chase, huh? Alright, pulling off him. There we go. GG. Yeah, so in the video I'll be compressed, but that added about uh, fifth or about ten more minutes onto the battle. Nice. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't want to get behind that guy at all. No, thank you. All right, guys, welcome to the third battle. I think we're in a much higher BR rank right now. We're going up against some F80s. Uh, we should be we should have seen some meteors later. Oh, this is, are you chasing somebody? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> How does a bomber hide that low and I can't spot him? All right, over to the right, another F-80 will turn for him. Seven Gs, seven Gs, eight Gs. Here we go, getting on target right now. There he is, he's going out to speed us though. There comes the fucking B, the, is that B-17 even flying anymore? Look at this, guys. <laughs> Okay, right for his pilot. He's going down. Okay, pitch down again. We're at good G turn right now. Air brakes on. Engaging. Where do those rounds go, eh? Okay, got him down. Whew. Intense, boys, intense. 
See, the Horton can clean up, baby. The Horton's a clean-up machine. It's a vacuum cleaner. But only at some time. So we got three kills already. I don't know where those shots were going uh, against that... Um, um, against that F-80. I think he was just splicing them perfectly. But in front of us, we have an 82. I am nice and slow, though. This is not that good for me. I don't want to go heads-on with any of these aircrafts. God damn, that thing's got some pull in it. Don't want to get behind the 82 either. I know he's right there. There's 82. He just shot down somebody. Here, here's the F7F. Come on, we need, we need some speed. Oh my god, dude. This fucking shit, I fucked up, man. I had every advantage, and I should have just pulled off. Oh, good game though. I got greedy. I thought I was the man. Um, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for the next plane, vote them in the comments below. You guys have a great day. I'm gonna go take a nap. The Horton man. It's, if you guys want a fun jet to play, that's just like heart beating all the time. Horton, Horton, Horton. All right, guys, have a great day. Peace out.